What's up, guys? Welcome to Quarantine Cocktails, episode two, 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 two sweet, with your host, Tommy Moriello. Thank you guys so much for the love that you gave last night's video. That was absolutely awesome. I uh, always put out content, always throw posts out there, but it never received that much love off of one video, and people have been asking for more, so boom, here it is. Don't have much else to do, so I'm going to keep on making these videos for you as long as you keep on asking them. So let's get down to it. I'm going to let you guys know why I'm doing these. So our community is going through a tough time. So many bartenders are out of work. Kids that we rely on every day for our tough days go there and put a smile on our face now need a smile. So go on, look up the USBG, check out their website. The USBG has a emergency bartender relief fund. This money is going right to the people that serve you every day for happy hour or for the weekend warriors out there. Please go take care of these kids if you like these videos. And I love that you guys are responding to the in the comment section, sending your pictures. I had the most adorable cocktail sent by a little baby holding her milk. Thank you very much, Danny, for that. Um, whatever you want to do, please do that on your own. Send it out to your followers and include not only the hashtags, show me what you're drinking, and hashtag EA quarantine cocktails, but also include the link for the USBG Emergency Relief Fund. It's greatly appreciated and these kids need it. So, on to the good stuff and why we're here today. I want to talk to you about my favorite cocktail, the Boulevardier. So, I realized that I was a long way from Bay Ridge when I went to a cocktail bar and asked for an Al Capone, and I was rudely told that, sir, that's a Boulevardier. Well, sorry to disappoint you. Now I know what it's called, and it's called a Boulevardier. For those of you not aware with it, a Boulevardier is a twist on a Negroni. When a Negroni is crisp and lean, it makes you feel really good inside on a tough day. Uh, Boulevardier is super rich and intriguing, and normally used with rye whiskey. I love doing it with Highland Park. Highland Park being the northmost distillery in Scotland, it has that beautiful Viking nature in it. Uh, but along with that, it has a little bit of peat, so you get a nice hint of smoke in this product. We are utilizing European and American sherry season casks, so you get a little bit of sherry in this product as well. And when you throw that with a little bit of sweet vermouth, the Carpano sweet vermouth, high Anita, as well as the Apertivo Select, which is the empire alternative for Campari, I will never, ever do a cocktail development again with a product outside of the Empire book because of Mark Cash giving me that stone cold glare when I pulled out a bottle he didn't carry. So shout out to the Empire family, thinking about you guys too. We'll be back for you guys too when this is all up and running, thinking about you guys. So, on to the show. A Negroni calls for equal parts, gin, sweet vermouth, and Campari. We're gonna use today is a little different. I like mine a little more booze heavy on the whiskey. So we're gonna do three quarters of Carpano Antica. We are gonna do three quarters of Apertivo Select. And we're gonna do an ounce and a half, you guys can go two ounces if you want, of the lovely Highland Park 12. Now for my non-industry friends out there, I'm gonna stir this drink and not shake it like last night's because there's nothing but booze in this product and I don't wanna bruise this alcohol. Bruising the alcohol meaning water it down. So I'm gonna stir it on up till it gets nice and cold, mix all those flavors together without getting a bunch of ice chips in your drink. So, let's take that guy. My Star Wars ice mold was not ready for this evening's show, so I brought Star Wars Tiki mugs instead. Put it over ice, and we're gonna give it a nice little orange peel as a garnish. Now, when you're utilizing these peels, the best way to get all the flavors together is give a little twist, get those oils involved, toss it on in there, and wish you guys a salute. Please, share your videos, Show us what you're drinking. Tonight, I would love to call out Mr. Christian Orlando, the lovely Miss Tracy Eden, and Sir Brian McGregor. Show me what you're drinking. I know you're drinking some gems. And for you guys that also want to join on, please use some of these fantastic products of the Edrington Portfolio and support the USBG. Let's take care of these kids. Cheers, guys.